Welcome to a new tutorial. We made a very cool logo in GIMP and today I show you how we can turn this logo or any other from PNG file into SVG, okay? And we turn our PNG logo into a vector file with Inkscape. This program is absolutely free. First we go to view and make sure custom is activated. And then we turn off the snapping. And then with drag and drop we move our PNG file into the Inkscape workspace. Here we change nothing, just click OK. And the PNG logo is very big. We have to change it a little bit. First, select the logo. And select it when you see the frame around. And then go to File. And Document Properties. And then we select Resize Page to Content. And Resize Page to Drawing or Selection. Just close the window and now you see it is perfect in the middle. Exactly in the frame. Okay. And then we select again the logo and go to Path and Trace Bitmap. And here we can choose between we have a logo only with one color, then we can use this or we have multiple colors, we use multiple scans. Okay. So we have a lot of colors. and we use the multiple scans. And in the multiple scans preset, we have eight different colors. We can change this because our logo has almost 10 or 12 colors. And with the gradient colors here in the font, we get much more. And I show you now step by step how to change this. For now, let's do it with 8 colors and have a look what's happened. Activate Smooth and Stack and click on Update. Now we have only black and white. We have to change this here into colors and update it again. When the preview is ready, you see it's very different here, the gradient. And then we click OK. And in the face you can see the difference because the yellow color is very different. It's not like the color in our PNG file. So we can close this now. And here we get a final SVG file now here. Let's have a look. The face, the yellow is very different. And see here and in a font also we don't have the clean gradient color let's zoom in a little bit this is the PNG and this is the SVG see in the SVG you can zoom in and it looks very clean we just need more colors when the SVG is selected, we can delete it, select the PNG again, go to Path, Trace Bitmap, and now let's change the colors here. We can try it at first with 50, click again on Update. I can see the face now we get the same color here. 
Okay. And close. And now we get the right color in the face. Let's zoom in a little bit. It looks fine. But here we have to do something more because you have a look. It looks much better, but not really clean. Now let's do it one more time. Delete the SVG, select the PNG again, and go to Path, Trace Bitmap. And now let's do it with 150. Update. And with more colors, it takes a little bit more of time. When the preview is ready, click OK. And when it's ready, let's have a look. You can see here it still have a little bit of color steps there. So we just have to try it out with more colors, maybe with 200 or 250. The face looks perfect. Just try it with 200 or 250. It will look great, okay? So then we delete the PNG file, select the SVG, Documents and Properties, and Resize Page to Content, Resize Page to Drawing or Select. To bring it in the middle. Then we go to File, Save As. And file type Inkscape PSVG is already selected. Then we give it a name and save it. And now you can turn any PNG logo into a vector logo. If you found this tutorial was helpful, then give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and see you in the next video. Bye!